And we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. The Big Ten Collegiate Sports Conference is about to become the Big 14. And what is going to become of the beleaguered Big East? It is chaos out there. On the football field, Rachel Bachman, though, is here, and she is a sports reporter here at the Journal, who's going to help make sense of it, I think, because, yes. gosh, that's a tall order for you. Yeah. Let's start with what's happening specifically with the Big Ten. Who are they gaining yes. and why? It, well, yesterday they added Maryland. Today they're expected to add Rutgers. They've announced a press conference for 2 p.m. It's widely expected that they'll, they'll add a, a 14th team, although they will keep the Big Ten name. That is their brand, of course, so the, <laughs> the geography doesn't exactly, or the math doesn't actually work add out. Add up but, at all, right. Um, and so this, this, these moves really are a departure from what we've seen in the past. We've seen conference realignment, which, as you know, has become rampant in the college football world in recent years. But this one was different because it really was made um, with the TV audience in mind and not as much um, with the idea of the pro football programs at hand. And let's talk about that a little bit, Rachel, because, you know, I'm, some, I'm from North Carolina, UNC mm -hmm. graduate, UNC fan. I mean, the ACC mm -hmm. has been the ACC to me, but now that's all getting shaken up and teams being added right. into the ACC that he wouldn't have even thought of. It's happening not though because of the teams and how they're playing so much as what right. you're saying is about the TV market. Walk us through that right. change. I mean, that's a seismic shift. Right. Well, it starts with really the shift in um, how college sports operate and the main revenues are now coming increasingly from TV rights fees. Mm -hmm. And so in the, in the olden days when all the money would come from um, spectators, or most of it anyway, um, then the importance was on big stadiums and so on and so forth. Now it's about these giant broadcast rights fees that college right. football can command. And what this move in particular does is it adds two members that aren't, really do not have great football pedigrees. Neither one of them is a, is a decorated football program. Right. Um, but what they do add is many, many millions of eyeballs in the Washington, D.C. area with Maryland and um, in the New York, New Jersey area with Rutgers. And that becomes important because um, when the Big Ten Network, for instance, the conference yeah. network owned by the Big Ten or controlled by the Big Ten, goes to, to sell its wares to cable providers, they want to be able to say we have X million subscribers. Right. And if they can do that, they can get more money and thus perpetuates the success of the conference. All about numbers, but not, not necessarily those on the scoreboard. Now, let, let's talk right. about Fox. Uh, which is owned by News Corp, uh, announcing acquisition of a minority stake in the Yes Network. How does that play right. into the bigger picture here? Well, it's somewhat complicated, but the bottom line is that Fox also has a controlling in uh, interest in the Big Ten Network, and the hope is that down the road, adding these two teams that are on the eastern seaboard, which the Big Ten did not penetrate right. before this move, um, will increase the attraction of that network enough to actually get it on basic cable, basic yeah. digital cable. And right now it's a premium, premium channel, so people pay. have to pay extra right. for it. If it's on basic cable, it means they automatically, the yeah, network automatically gets all those subscribers and their fees. The big losers, perhaps, are the Big East. I mean, a lot of teams leaving the yeah. Big East. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Who are some of them? It's, it's really been decimated. Um, Pittsburgh and Syracuse are scheduled to leave um, after this academic year and th there have been a lot of comings and goings in, in recent years and, and, and the Big East really is suffering from the current trend which is that football rules, football is what matters and sells and it really has traditionally been a basketball right. conference so it's, it's struggling now to attract um, attractive football members and it is in negotiations right now for a new TV contract which should be very interesting with all this upheaval going on. Wow, it is not the conferences I grew up with. No. But it's chaos. Dogs and cats sleeping together. I don't know what's happening. Rachel Bogman, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.